Beef Research School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Beef Cattle Research Council. Yeah, pain mitigation has become a more important um, uh, thing to consider these days now with uh, animal welfare concerns and, and uh, certainly it's become an important part of, of the things we talk about when, when we talk about uh, codes of practice and, and, uh, and best practices for, for various painful procedures. And the main painful procedures that we often think about in, in cattle are castration and dehorning. And certainly we have a number of pain mitigation strategies that we can do to help help relieve pain. There, there are certainly painful procedures and we need, to, we need to do something to try to mitigate that pain. One of the things we can do is just make sure we do those tasks as early as possible. And uh, younger animals, certainly the testicles and horns aren't as developed. It's not as major a procedure. There's less likelihood of complications and, and it's probably somewhat less painful, although it's still painful for those young calves. Uh, so the first step would be to make sure we do it as young as possible. Secondly, we can sometimes use local anesthetics and certainly for dehorning we have a very easy way of, of blocking uh, the nerves that go to those horns just with a local anesthetic, just like your dentist would. It's really a simple procedure. Uh, your veterinarian can teach you how to do it on your own or you can have a veterinarian help you do it. We do it uh, quite uh, routinely in dairy calves and certainly I do it routinely in beef calves that I do even when we're doing uh, a large day of calves uh, and I don't give it as much time to uh, take effect as I would in a dairy calf because we're we're moving along, we've got to keep calves uh, moving through the processing thing, but we can still get a fairly effective block even though we don't wait very long. Um, finally, the, the last pain mitigation procedure that we have now are, are analgesics, and analgesics are, are drugs like aspirin or things like that that we use all the time for, for pain control. Uh, we now have some effective analgesics that are available for use in cattle. Um, and uh, those drugs that you may have heard of like Banamine or Medicam uh, are available and provide uh, some level of pain control after a procedure is, is, uh, is completed. Um, they certainly don't provide complete blockage of pain while you're doing it, but they will provide uh, significant relief of the pain after the procedure. Uh, so those are also products that you need to consider in consultation with your veterinarian and, and talk about them and how to use them and how to use them most effectively when, when you're doing those procedures. But probably the first thing we need to think about is making sure we get those, those painful procedure tasks done as early as possible. Uh, consider the use of either local anesthesia or analgesia, so local drugs that block the pain like lidocaine or Medicam or Banamine. Uh, those kind of products that actually help with pain after the procedure is over with. So. Well, cattle are prey species so they tend to be very good at hiding pain and they may not display pain uh, as, as overtly as other species do uh, but many of these procedures are painful. We can show differences in in uh, gain and in behavioral indicators after, after they're carried out and we can show significant improvement in those behavioral indicators if we use either an analgesic or an anesthetic. 